How's it going, everybody? And welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, Phase Crypto. Today, I want to discuss with you Hollow Chain. Uh, of course, I do want to talk about what we're seeing happening as far as the price action of Bitcoin right now, currently at the time of recording this video, clocking in at nine thousand six hundred and forty-one. Uh, we saw Bitcoin get rejected around that ten thousand four hundred, and now, of course, that strong resistance in the psychological barrier around the ten thousand. We're pretty much going to be watching with bated breath to see if Bitcoin can gain back some of the momentum that it was able. And I think that this is a good time to talk about Holochain, uh, to actually look at some potential sources that could inevitably turn to uh, you know dethrone bitcoin in a sense uh, even if it's not hollow chain uh, i mean i would imagine that it would be something that is more forward thinking that uh, because blockchain isn't the end all be all of these uh, paradigm shifting technologies and i think that one of the major problems that we see that's really at the heart of the cryptocurrency debate is the aging of the current internet and i think that completely redoing the entire internet to be more peer-to-peer -peer in general, um, be more of a human internet. I and mean, so that's essentially what uh, I have here is a couple articles uh, that are going to be talking about, uh, you know, Holochain is a more human internet, hot price will increase. Uh, so Holochain hot currently has been trading at 0.2 versus the USD over the past 24 hour. Uh, of course, uh, Holochain, uh, you know, is uh, definitely an interesting animal. I mean, when we talk uh, data, uh, you know, integrity, uh, we just very much cuts right to the heart of a major, major problem that we see happening, uh, you know, with the problems that Facebook continuously runs into. Uh, the question of data, I would say, is really one that's uh, at the heart of the paradigm shift that we're seeing right now. And as people are, you know, going to be growing up who have been uh, existing alongside uh, these different different entities that, I mean, not, you know, not with, basically, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and bash only Facebook because we talk about data farming. Uh, we talk about the abuse of people's data. Uh, it has no end. Uh, and I think that it's really, once the consequences of this are able to sort of come into the, uh, be fleshed out, people will see real time exactly how their data being abused is going to have uh, really significant impact uh, I think that it will be begging for something like hollow chain and I think when it comes down to a uh really a tech you know tech point of view uh, a more human internet would be a logical and a you know a happy ending i would say i mean because we see different things that even threat the uh sort of um for lack of a better term quote unquote decentralization of bitcoin um and i think that these are all definitely key points of conversation that are going to be really coming to the forefront. And uh, I would say that right now, Holochain is pretty undervalued. Um, you now the price of uh, Holo has been, uh, you know, trending at, um, you know, 0.000892. Holochain tweeted about how some of the community members are finding it challenging to explain Holochain to their friends. Holochain provides a reference about how to explain the token to their friends, the content talk talks about the difference between the hollow chain and blockchain the in the hollow chain agree to a specific set of rules and they function blah 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 hollow chain uh, improved efficiency hollow chain community um you know, with a uh, passionate human so um hollow chain fast enough to operate uh, 5000 nodes um improved uh, efficiency uh, and i but also just uh, exited out of um an article that I wanted to talk about as well, um, which is you know, talking about um, <clears throat> the uh, hollow chain, you know, growing as a vibrant, self-sustaining community. Uh, I mean, I think that hollow chain is sort of like a snowball. Uh, that that's how I would describe you know a snowball rolling down a hill and you know it gets bigger and bigger and eventually I don't think that it will be easy to ignore. Um, I mean personally, I think that you know, right now it's incredible how much uh, of these different developing technologies you could accumulate. Um, you know, of course, remember this video is for entertainment, educational purposes. 
Definitely, you know, before I go any further, remember, I'm not your financial advisor. This is not advice. Of course, go um, do your own research. And, um, you know, this video is just my opinion. I'm just telling you what I think and my strategies. And uh, personally, I mean, I would think that, you know, if I could own a million hollow chain, um, I think that I'd probably be part of a new class of uh, wealthy. Uh, I mean, it sort of is like back in the day when Bitcoin was worth, uh, you, you could accumulate thousands of Bitcoin um, you know in 2011 for relatively a uh you know, agreeable price, uh, and it would be life changing today. I, I could sort of see a parallel. Uh, you know, when we look at the revolutionary nature of the technology that we're looking at here, um, and, you know, it would be interesting just to see how, uh, you know, if you hopped in a time machine, the conversation that was happening around Bitcoin and the people who were able to um, ignore it, and of course the people who were paying attention it. Um, but uh, global cryptocurrency regulation is turning bearish in these five countries. Um, top five countries um, promising stricter crypto regulations. We've got Brazil, Russia, uh, the USA, um, you know, with Trump uh, tweeting, I'm not a fan of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which are not money. Um, so definitely interesting. I mean, that was back in June 2011. Um, this quote right here, we want to make sure that technology moves forward. But on the other hand, we want to make sure that cryptocurrencies aren't used for the equivalent of old Swiss secret bank account numbers, Belgium and China. Definitely interesting. I mean, I think that this definitely is in part, um, you know, interesting in the conversation about why we've seen Bitcoin's price uh, sort of where it is right now, uh, and especially where we can expect to see it going from this point moving forward. Uh, is Ripple looking disrupt the $16 billion Indian uh, remittance market? Here's, uh, you know, of course, a uh, take on it. Uh, Will be interesting to see what happens with Ripple, um, you know, and overall um, the crypto space at large. Um, will Bitcoin surge to 400k? Um, you know, just sort of a bullish uh, perspective there. Um, but we will see. And I wanted to just point, uh, you know, close out the video by just looking at this, uh, you know, chart right here um, that I found on TradeView, um, which of course does, uh, you know, give us an interesting uh, perspective. Uh, you know, when it comes to um, hollow chain, I think it's cool to just put that, uh, you know, give you guys a second to look at that. Uh, you now, and while we do, uh, you know, I'd like to discuss, um, you know, just exactly how uh, this sort of peer to peer, you know, agent centric, uh, you know, v vision of the internet that uh, could really be a, a huge paradigm shift uh, you now at large. And I mean, I, you know, it is to be able to talk about Cardano um, and you know, Bitcoin and XRP, but I think Holochain does have a special place in my heart um, you know, as far as looking forward to seeing how a lot of these different aspects and dynamics uh, are going to be making um, you know, a big shift. And I think people are often... Um, more distracted by uh, blockchain, um, and I mean they really one of the heart, um, you know, heart and soul conversations that I think really need to be happening are about um, you know who controls your identity uh, on the in the age of the internet, um, you know, ownership of data, uh, transact without tra centralized systems, which is something that you know proves very very popular in the crypto crowd. Uh, build lighter, faster, cheaper applications, which of course is part of that snowball effect, which I could easily see lending itself um, in a big way to the space, um, you know, making a lot of different um, big moves, um, you know, big things happening. And, you know, it is very interesting. So, you know, it's part of uh, this community. I mean, I'm happy to make these videos. Uh, and if you guys have any other altcoins um, that you'd like to see have videos made on them, uh, definitely comment down below and uh, let us know. We'll always be happy to oblige. Um, you know, I always am interested. Uh, you know, this hollow chain is something that I keep up with um, on a day to day basis. I, I check out the latest news and all these different things um, you know, because I'm expecting to see some interesting things happening. And I find um, that hollow chain is an innovative. Um, you know, it has a good team, um, and it will be interesting to see how they, uh, you know, advance moving forward. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. Um, now I hope you guys, um, you know, subscribe, comment down below. Of course, let us know what country you're watching us from. Always interested in seeing those comments. Uh, people, you know, and all these, you know, Belgium and China, people 
commenting in different parts of the U.S. Um, you now, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe, like I said, put on post notifications, and tune in to the next live stream where we will be doing technical analysis. Have a good one.